everybody. You find me right now packing up my bag, ready to leave Chiang Mai. And I know what you're thinking, but hang about, we haven't seen anything from Chiang Mai. That's because I've come here for a bit of a rest after all my moving around. I um, met up with Sam, if you remember, Sam from when I was in Hong Kong. Yeah, when I was in Hong Kong. Yeah, we've had a, a really nice sort of chilled time. And yeah, I'm literally just packing up, ready to head back to Bangkok tomorrow. I've got a flight at what time? I think it's about 6.30 tomorrow morning. So yeah, just have to get all this back in. I've had a few updates to my bag. Well, most of all, Sam has taken some bits back for me to the UK because some of the bits I just was not using. But also, while I've been here in Chiang Mai, I've had a massive shopping spree. So what I'm going to do is in here or in here, either or, I'm going to put some clips of the new outfits that I've bought. So one of which is my new jazzy trousers. <laughs> um, and I've bought two new dresses and a jacket, which is to replace my jumper. Now it's not really a jacket. It's good for the sun protection up to 50 SPF. So when I'm walking around or on the back of a scooter, I'll just put that on and I don't have to worry about burning. So yeah, this is me just packing. So I'm hoping that my bag is going to be a lot lighter now that I have disposed of some extra bits that I was carrying. I bought a few sort of like souvenir-y sort of bits which are all headed back as we speak. So thank you very much, Sam, for for doing that for me. Um, yeah, so after I get back to Bangkok, I am going to, I've lost my complete train of thought. So after I get back to Bangkok, I'm gonna meet back up with Sinead again. Then she's gonna show me around because she spent a fair bit of time in Bangkok. From there, we're going to get the bus over to Cambodia. And I've never been to Cambodia, so that's a new destination. Oh, forgot my bag. I'm a little bit worried about the visa on arrival process. I have heard that sometimes it can be difficult, but I am going with a, a bus group. I will put the name of the bus company in here. Um, and it does say that they will help you get through. I know you need a passport size photograph and I think it is 30 US dollars but the dollars have to be pristine. No rips, no writing on them, nice and flat. So I've got all that together so hopefully that will go well. Right, what else have I got to tell you? Ah, while I've been here in Chiang Mai I have done a few things so I met back up with Tony and Kendall again, which was amazing to see them again. I also, <laughs> I got recognized for being Nan with the backpack. This lovely lady came up to me and randomly just asked me, excuse me, but do you do YouTube videos? To which I said, yes. And we spent the next three hours just chatting away and I just popped in here to have something to eat and as I was sat having my drink a lovely lady called Zah walked past and asked me if I was the YouTuber Nan so we've sat and had a chat and now we're going to go down to the market together it was absolutely lovely so if you're watching hi yeah I've just had a really nice relaxing time while I'm here and look how easily my bag is actually closing now and then it's just this little one as well. It will be a very early night tonight because I've got to be at the airport for 4 a.m. That is not a nice time in the morning. But hopefully 
I won't get any flight delays or anything like that. I'm going to jump in here because I forgot one other thing or two other things that I have done while I'm in Chiang Mai. The first one is I have my eyes tested and I've got a new pair of glasses because my other ones were terrible. So I can actually see you now. Hi! <laughs> and the other thing I had done is this wisdom tooth right at the very back here. I actually split the tooth. A crack appeared all the way down it. So I went back to the dentist. Okay, I'm not a happy bunny. So I thought I had a crack in my tooth or a hole in my tooth. And that's exactly what I've got. So I've come back to the dentist that I came to last year and I'm having my wisdom tooth taken out at the back. So I came in and they said, oh, and we're about half an hour away. And I said, well, when do I come back for this? He says, no, I'll do it now. So it's going to be about two and a half thousand baht, which is about 53 pounds. I'm really scared. <laughs> I'm the biggest wimp ever when it comes to dentists. But yeah, I, I kind of knew it was mostly a filled tooth anyway. So here we go, having my tooth extracted in Thailand. So I've just had this x-ray and now I've just had my blood pressure taken as well. been down to 7-Eleven and bought out the softest items of foods that I could find so hopefully this will keep me going for a while. Not very good but I'm so hungry I need something that's soft to eat. <laughs> Yay I found a winner, <laughs> a strawberry jelly. <laughs> I am much better now but it has taken a good while to heal. I've still got a bit of a hole at the back of my gum here and also I'm still a little bit tender so I've got to watch what I eat but I'm so glad it's gone. I had an x-ray, a consultation, I had a full teeth cleaning with the hygienist and I had an extraction and it was, oh I can't remember, I'm going to put the price up here. I think it was 2,500 baht but I'll put the price up there for you. They did say that next time I come back I ought to have this one taken out as well because it's not the healthiest. Seeing as the price here is a lot cheaper than back in the UK and there's no wait time. If I had this done in the UK I would probably have to wait six to eight months if I could ever get an appointment. So Thumbs up for Thai dentists. It was an amazing service and I'm very happy. Right, well, that's it. This was only a short one to um, give you a bit of an update and show you how much easier I'm packing my bag now. Thanks to Sam, again. She's my little lifesaver, she really is. And that's it, that's all I've got. Wow. This is my rain cover, which I put on just to protect the bag. Oh, I picked up a coat as well. Um, somebody was leaving it behind. So I picked up a little packable coat, which I put in there just in case it does get cold, seeing as I've not got many clothes left. But yeah, look how tiny my bag is. Go me. <laughs> And then this just literally has my laptop. The next time I see you, I will be back in Bangkok. Bye.